So now let's head over into Twitter because obviously Twitter is not a game, but look there on the very bottom, you have all your tools. Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I will be showing you that hidden built-in screen recording function that's on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, yes, you are able to head over into the Play Store and you can download third-party applications that can record your gameplay or really anything that's happening on your device screen. And a couple of those options could be the AZ Screen Recorder or it could be MobiZen. Now, I just say those two because those are ones that I do recommend. They're ones that I have used and they are safe. But if you wanted to use one that is built in from Samsung, for some of you this might be a hidden feature that it is built into the game launcher. But because this is Jimmy is promo and on this channel I want to bring something new to you guys, this is going to go one step further and I'm going to show you how you can exploit it from the game launcher and really use it with any application that is installed on your phone. So originally what you do have to do to unlock that game launcher is head over into your settings. Then you're gonna head over into the advanced features. Underneath advanced features, you do have the option for games and this is where you turn on game launcher. So what happens when you head over into game launcher where if you move over into one of those games, on the very bottom of your phone when you swipe up, you have an option right over here that you're able to go inside your game tools. This is where you can do the no alerts during a game, hard press home button to lock it. I can actually make a full video on the game launcher itself. Just write a comment below the video and I will do a full review of the game tools. But inside of the settings, this is where you can show that there is recorded videos. You know, what is some of the settings you wanna do? You wanna use your camera, do you wanna have nothing? So if you show your camera, it's your front facing camera showing you playing the game, or you can do a select of an image, which I have done and you can make it bigger or or smaller. Um, you can either use the microphone or the game internal sound card. Uh, and then there's also the resolution that you can change as well too. So when you are basically playing the game, when you head over inside the bottom and you hit on record, now I'm going to record my gameplay. And it kind of shows, you know, how much time I've played the game. Let's say that we head over inside of this one. And let's just play this one for about two seconds. Um, so let's say that we're playing this game. There we go. And once you're done recording your gameplay, you just basically tap right there from the notifications panel and now it's finished. So if you wanted to check out what you just got done doing, now all you would have to do is head back right over into your game tools, which is going to be right here. And when you hit on that little person icon, this is where you can see the recorded videos. Now this is not just the first and only video that's recorded, this just happens to be the folder. So when I click on Toon Blast, it's gonna show me both of the games that I've played that I also recorded. So here is the very first one, you can kind of see See what's happening um, you can you can just watch your gameplay and also the nice thing about it too is that when you look at your video inside the folder you can press and hold and not only delete the video but you can also share this so if you want this thing to go over onto uh, Facebook or Twitter or anywhere you want it to then you're able to share the video you just got done recording that again is built into your game launcher so what happens if you wanted to do something else that's not a game? So right over here, if you wanted to add a game, um, what you're able to do is you can add in something else. So let's say that we move over and let's add in Instagram. So let's move over and add in Instagram and then we're gonna hit on okay. Now it says that the game launcher features are not available for Instagram because it's not a game. But when you open up Instagram, you have all your game tools and game options. So when you head over underneath here, you can hit on record and then now I'm recording uh, what's going on with Instagram and it actually does a very good job of keeping up with everything and anything I'm doing. Now, when you're done with this again, all you have to do is just tap, tap on that stop recording and then you move on back and let's say that we head over into the game launcher, we hit on our person again, here is the videos recorded and there is Instagram. Now you can watch the video you just did with Instagram. Now, this is where we will take it the step further. So what I'm going to do is let's say that we wanted to just remove this from the game launcher. Also, if you go inside your gallery, you're gonna have all your videos you recorded on the very top as well. So not only is it inside of the application of game launcher, but it is also inside your gallery of any video you recorded. So now let's open it up to any application. So you're gonna head over to the very top. You're gonna to go to where it says the performance mode and you can move it over to game, entertainment, or high performance. Now, if you switch this thing into game mode, now it's almost as if you have your game launcher fully open for anything on your phone. So now let's head over into Twitter because obviously Twitter is not a game, 
But look there on the very bottom, you have all your tools. This is where you can head right over here. You can hit on record. And then now I'd be able to show my news thread. I can head over to the bell, you know, kind of pretty much anything and everything that's going on. If I head over to my, my profile, here's my profile on Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter yet, it's just Jimmy is promo. Just search for that, that handle. That's pretty much everything. That's the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter is just Jimmy is promo. And then now you got to do is if you are finished with this, you'd be able to move this right over into optimize. So the fun and awesome thing that you were able to do is put your entire phone in game mode. Once it's inside of game mode, now you're able to record really any application that is built into your phone or that you have installed. Now, here's the thing that I do need to show you and because I wanna make sure you have all the details you need to know about this. You might be asking yourself, what is the applications you're not able to do it with? Um, well, that's gonna be the internet browser, Chrome, as well as YouTube. And that's for obvious reasons for copyright purposes. But if you really wanna know exactly what you're not able to do inside of game mode, just head over to your game launcher. Underneath game launcher, I want you to go to add a game. Now, when you're adding any of these applications, any app that you see right now, all of these will be able to be used with the uh, screen recording function that's built into Samsung. So you have your Smart Life, you have your Chase, you have Messenger, I mean, you, your text messaging stuff. So really, anything that shows on this list you will be able to use and use those game tools on the very bottom. Now, if you go through this list, you'll notice YouTube is not there, Chrome and internet browser is not there as well. So that is how you're able to know what is able to work inside if you do put it to game mode. And also it limits you on what is inside of your game launcher. So now let's say that you really only have just one application that is not a game that you do think that you will be recording all the time, or at least just using all the different game tools that's on the bottom, like the auto brightness lock or the edge touch lock or the no alerts during the game you can use all of this stuff within inside of any application you choose but if you're one of those people that you you think you might use it for more than one app so you don't want to just add that one app to the game launcher then that's where you want to head over inside your modes and put it inside game mode now you're able to use it with any application other than the ones that I've previously talked about so I hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up also if you guys learned something from this video and you want to keep on getting more tips and tricks about your Samsung and Galaxy devices, make sure you hit on that subscribe button right over here and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.